Scientology Inc. gets away with a lot of criminal acts. In fact, it's been a 40-year crime wave. And so little of it gets reported to law enforcement. One of the reasons why is this policy letter, which I'm going to show you here, it's considered an antisocial suppressive act to ever report the cult to law enforcement, to ever report the cult to government or media. It's listed as not only a crime, but a high crime. So it's instant disconnection, shunning. If you report to a government agency, you're toast. You will lose your children. You will lose all the friends and family you ever had. Remember in Scientology, they cut you off more and more, so your only connections are in. And if you dare, even if it's a criminal act, this is obstruction of justice because you are educated and indoctrinated to not turn in to the cult. Rape, molestation, assault and battery, theft, irregular financial. It's classic for the cult of Scientology to bill your credit card on unauthorized charges. They've done this for years. They lost their American Express privileges at the flight at flag FSO for doing it so flagrantly. They got it back after some years, but they've done these kind of financial theft for years. Who reports it to law enforcement? No one. Why? There's a baton over your head. If you report us to law enforcement, you will be fair game. That means you can be lied to, cheated, destroyed, literally destroyed. That's Hubbard's policy. I had wanted to go outside and, and Kevin did not want me to leave the cabin. So I got into a bit of a physical struggle with him and, and uh, you know, one of the first things he did was punch me right in the solar plexus and knock the wind out of me. Uh, but I was savvy enough to not go down and I kept struggling with him physically, and he was calling out to the other guy for help. And uh, the other guy showed up and they <clears throat> they had like a laundry cord, like a 3 8 inch diameter line. And they tied me up with my knees and my wrists and my neck all bound together. Wow. Like my knees were drawn up to my wrists and my wrists were drawn up to my neck with this cord. Mm -hmm. And took me inside the... Uh, cabin and threw me into the hallway and uh, then nailed a piece of plywood up over the entryway to the hallway. So I'm in there, uh, you know, 
struggling for my life because initially I was on my side. And if I relaxed for a second, the ropes around my neck would start strangling me. Over the years, the Church of Scientology has had more than its fair share of adult members who have sexually abused minors. Alex was one such victim. Here's how Karen related this to me. Alexander Jinch was having sexual intercourse at 12 years old at the Flagline base. I only ever knew that after I came out. That's probably one of the reasons they wanted to keep Alexander well away from me. The reason he got out of the flag land base was he'd had sex, and what they do is get them out of jurisdiction of the police. Many people speculated that one of the reasons they kept him away from Heba was the fact of this sex. And you know the girl, the 40-year-old who was having intercourse with Alexander, is currently an OSA operative. Alex remained in the Sea Org and never spoke about this incident to his mother or anyone else. The one and only priority of the Office of Special Affairs is to ensure that word of such incidents as this never make it out to the public. The way this is done is to separate the offenders and make it clear to them that they are the ones to blame for what happened. You had a particularly horrible experience on the ship of being molested? Yes. What, what, what happened? This Actually, was... I had it at flag first. Oh, what happened when there? I was 15. Okay, so, like, I was a steward, so I would... At that point, I had to like, like stand in the kitchen all day in case COB wanted something and like um, doing admin stuff. And me and him would go there early in the morning because he would have to set up the office and I would have to clean the, all the offices. And he, for three months straight, because I didn't have the guts to report him, he would come in there and he would, and I hate talking about this stuff because it's so degrading, but he would like lift me up and rub himself against me. So grind, grind his crotch into you. Yes. And um, then he did it to another girl called, and she wrote a KR on him. So I was like, oh, she had the guts to do it. So I did as well. And nothing happened to him. Nothing. It's always like you pulled it in and you must have 2D flowed him or like you did something wrong and that's why it happened to you. You know, see, this is part of what, what, what someone describes as the rape culture of Scientology. Yeah. That the idea that if a woman is, or a teenager, young girl is molested, they pulled it in. Yes, it was my and fault. It, because the entire game of Scientology is to blame you, the staff member or the public, you, 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 you have crimes, you have transgressions, you have evil intentions. The cult will never acknowledge a single action that they did that was out of line, that broke the law. They literally consider themselves angels. They consider themselves God. They consider themselves unable to commit a crime, but they reek in crime. There isn't a day that goes by when Scientology doesn't do a cover-up of something which any law enforcement agent would tell you was criminal. <laughs> 